Welcome to India, Hebering in Virtual School. Hello. 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 My name is Poonam. My teacher name is Welcome to India. And so, Hebering in Virtual School. Like you're trying to make kids understand you in another language, like so it's gonna be hard, but mm -hmm. like, I'm excited as well to like meet the kids, like yeah. to help them. Like I really just wanna be able to make a difference and help them. I'm very nervous. I must admit, at the moment I'm not really feeling that confident really. Um but hopefully tomorrow that will change. I think I'm just underestimating the task at hand, so I just need to you know like watch quit. Zone out and just forget about everything that I've been taught and just kind of going to it in an open mind. Stress, absolute stress. Carbon paper is the worst. Sitting there and you can't move the paper because otherwise it all overlaps and you look at it and you think, oh, you've got to do it all over again and it's absolutely horrible. But apart from that, it's fine. Something that I'm fearing slightly is how they're going to understand me and how I can kind of convey like what I want them to do as well. Like mm -hmm. if I ask them to I don't know, say something, I want them to be able to like, understand that I want them to say this or... At the moment, I just feel a bit nervous. I, I was like that before I did my primary school thing, I was so nervous because you don't know how the kids are going to react to you. Yeah. Like, you, like, you don't know if they're going to like you, you don't know if what you're saying and what you're trying to teach them and help them with is going to come across right. Yeah. But don't, honestly, you'll be good at it. You'll be so good at it. Look, go have a shower. Don't stress. Plan how you want it, but understand that it won't go to plan. You'll be fine. I believe in you. Yeah. Uh, I feel confident about teaching them about animals. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm just a bit nervous about my side of things. So I was, I've never taught before. So. I think, I think I real, I've realised how um, hard it is to be a teacher as well, and how much effort you have to put in, and much of like how much energy, how much like concentration as well and the planning as well so I think I've realised how hard it is to be a teacher. In general teachers have a very heavy like, workload playing art like I, I wouldn't be really sure how to deal with that I know like sometimes it can be hard to control a class as a teacher so that's kind of like another fear I just feel like it's going to be really difficult to try and like uh, communicate but I'm going to try my best so. mm -hmm. But at the end of it, I hope like I'll learn something new, and I hope they'll learn something new because I want them to, you know, like education is a valuable thing, and I just think if I can give that to someone less fortunate, that will make me like really happy, you know. School today was really good. Um, it started off with low energy with the children, so I think they've had a heavy weekend as we have. Um, so usually what we do is we start off with um, the hard work, and then we end on a more higher note. But we, re we rolled, reversed the roles, we re we we done it in opposite order and we started off with the fun stuff to get them up and then when their energy was up that's when we started doing maths and the rest of it and that worked pretty well. I've not tried that before. School was really really good, um, like, I liked in, like, engaging the kids. Um, when we first got there we did the good morning song as usual. Another thing that I really liked was um, I did like a raffle where they have to pick out animals from like a bag and then take the paper out and sound out the noise of the animal. That was good. Communication barrier, very high for her. She was only five years old, so teaching her completely from scratch, like even some basic Hindi words, she wouldn't have been too sure on. Like we could have communicated well with the other students but not as well with her because she doesn't understand that either so we kind of just had to go from basics and scratch with her and use more like reactive stuff like high fives, smiling to express that she was doing good 
She's a refugee who's come over here literally three days ago and she, her house is made out of metal and cow manure and when you see stuff like that, like, I don't think I've never felt like that before because I feel like in England we take advantage of things things that um, things that we can we don't get but out here you see her and her family she didn't even know the hospital was free she didn't I, I gave her my water bottle and told her to keep it she just she started coloring straight away like she didn't go outside the lines or anything she knew how to color she was following it um, which is really amazing and she's coloring and then she switched hands and was coloring with the other hand so I think she's am ambidextrous it brought tears to my obviously um, when you see stuff like that, it's just, like, you, you should be grateful to have stuff, you know? But yeah, it's just upset. Um, and so then I got a writing sheet out and tried with that. Yeah. And I looked away for a second, looked down and there's a B on the page. She'd copied the B above. She didn't trace it first, she copied it. Like she wrote a, the letter and it was perfect. Like it was so neat. It was like pulling my heartstrings, the tears were in my eyes. Like, I don't... I normally cry that much in front of everyone, but that hit me pretty bad, yeah. But I just hope she's alright and hopefully she gets better. She seems like a nice girl. She's smart, she knows how to write and everything, so she doesn't understand necessarily what we're saying and doing, but she knows how to copy and yeah. But it was like, it was really nice, it was a nice surprise to see that, like even after everything, like we didn't think she'd understand anything at all and she could write, which is, yeah. It was really amazing to see her writing. So. It's very scary, I think, and you just get a bit scared if you like if they're actually getting information in their heads, or like sometimes like when you should repeat, often repeat it, it's just not going through. Oh, it was good, man. Obviously, you didn't come last time, so I was very upset. But he's like my little brother, man. Yeah, he was very good today. He behaved. Yeah, I told him a couple of new words. So yeah. I taught him. What? I'm bruv. I taught him my G and how to. We had a. They made a new handshake. Yeah, so it's good. Even though they don't understand, that's why you have to make it so much fun. And I've never smiled so much in my life. Like just seeing them do what I do and say what I say and everything and learning it so quickly, it makes me feel like proud as a person that they can do this. Rewarding. Yeah, it's so rewarding. It's. I don't. You won't get this somewhere else. I swear to God, you won't. When you walk through them gates, you experience a feeling like you've never experienced before. And the children in the school have been so sweet. Every day I see them, I just want to hug them. They listen, they don't judge. I know a few of the young people was a bit anxious that, you know, that they would be similar to the kids in London, but the social filters are completely different. The kids here lock up in their own classrooms. They take pride in themselves. They have like a lot of respect for you. I did, I did expect it to be how it was but I would say the school was a little more built up than I would have imagined because when you're in school in England you, you, you get taught about these kind of things and you're led to believe that you know they it's like a rusty empty room and obviously they're not as resourced as schools in England but um, it, it, it's been it's been amazing it has truly truly been amazing. It's been really nice to see how other people live and especially the school. I think that's the best part. Like it's weird how like they know so much English and if if you say to me, Oh yeah, how much Indian do you know? I'd be like, None, like I wouldn't know I wouldn't know any. The way they like interact with you is really good. Being able to make them happy and smile for education and also because obviously education can um, lead to like loads of opportunities. So in that way it's like a double achievement. The best thing though about coming to India is seeing their change, seeing how happy the kids are to learn and seeing how willing they are. To teach them everything you know and you want to like get um, them to understand but you're so scared about um, if you're going to do it right or if they're actually going to learn from you. The difference between the children in the UK and the children here is that here they truthfully do appreciate their education. Because obviously coming to school is like their, their happiness mm -hmm. in a sort of way because they don't really get to, obviously they don't get to do much. Most of them come from like um, poorer backgrounds. So. It's interesting how much you go in there thinking, oh, well, they speak Hindi, they're not going to be able to do this, not going to be able to do that, but when actually they're very much willing, and when someone's willing, they can really do anything. But it's fine, I like the children, and 
it's nice to see how they've got better over the, like the week just this week they've gone better mm -hmm. so if I did if like for imagine imagine if I did this for like a year or so they, they would speak English like perfectly so it's nice to see their um, progress yeah. I knew we'd have to teach your kids I thought it might be more of like a chore like We'd come here to teach them, and then we'd enjoy the like other things as like kind of our reward for teaching them. But it's actually been really great teaching the kids as well and getting to see them and everything. Levi, the teacher. I love that title because I want to be a teacher when I'm older. So that's a, it's a lovely, lovely title. Perfect. It suits me perfectly. I'm not really spiritual, but it's like a good like feeling that just hits you when you see them kids and they're picking up the things that you're teaching them. It means so much to me, like it just makes my heart melt, seeing them every day smiling, you know, very, very keen to learn. And even when um, it was raining for the past couple of days and they had a government day off where they didn't have to come to school, so many kids still turned up. And for me, that just shows that they value education so much. Um, I've loved being a teacher. I've loved every single minute of it. It's been stressful when the kids don't pick it up and then you have them to repeat it um, over and over again. But it's been really worth it. Um, it's open, broadened my mind in the sense of I don't just want to stick to the career path that I've chosen. It's made me realise I think I have a calling in other sectors. <laughs> I'm a bit upset because obviously it's the last day. But if anything, I'm like proud of myself and I'm quite proud of everyone because we have taught them quite a lot of stuff and I think that is like the most valuable thing that I could have got out of this to be able to teach someone English so that in the future they can use it. As this trip has been really hard but I wish I could stay longer. It would have been so much nicer to get to know the kids more. I'm a bit upset man, like obviously Junior Kane and that. Well, I'm going to be quite emotional that day, so, you know, just got to stay strong. Karen, he is really, really adorable, and um, holding my hand and, that, like, giving me his biscuits. He's really, really cute, but <sighs> goodbye is one of those things you've got to learn in life, so. We are thankful to you, people. Bye. Goodbye. Princess? Yeah. Princess? And Levi. 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 Goodbye. Olivia. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, China. Namaste. Namaste.